Brooklyn Independent Television. Pigeon flying and racing have been longtime traditions in Brooklyn, and now the pastimes have entered the spotlight thanks to the Animal Planet's new series, Taking On Tyson. The docu-reality series finds former boxing heavyweight champ Mike Tyson returning to Brooklyn to pursue his childhood hobby, racing pigeons. Now reporter Lauren Muraski discovers how the pigeon culture is more than just a hobby or a sport for a few passionate Brooklynites. Enemies in the sky, friends on the street. That's the saying behind the pigeon flying culture, which is very much alive and well in Brooklyn. On a recent Sunday when I visited Broadway Pigeons and Pet Supplies in Bedford-Stuyvesant, I witnessed the passion and camaraderie among the Brooklynites who fly pigeons off of their rooftops. The regulars here spend hours swapping stories about their domesticated birds. A lot of these gentlemen here, they average probably from 200, 300, 400 birds. I don't, or more, on the rooftops, in different areas, maybe in, in this area, for example. You have a guy, a pigeon coop right over here and one here, another one five, ten blocks away, and sprinkle like that. These are not just ordinary pigeons you see on the street. They are carefully bred and well taken care of. It's a great fly, high fly. It's getting more expensive. You need a lot of time, and it costs a lot of money. To be honest with you, it costs a lot of money. You have to change the waters twice a day. You got to keep it fresh. You got to clean the coops once a week. You know, it's a lot involved. It's it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, and especially if you're on the roof, you got to carry the bags to feed up to the roof. It's hard. I guess Pucho's lucky he's not on his roof, huh? That the birds are over his roof, huh? Okay. So when one guy sends his birds up, the other guy may send his birds up too. So the key is when the stocks. When they mix with each other, sometimes when one stock breaks, breaks away, he may entice another bird from the other guy's stock. So how do you catch the bird? So you get the birds down. If that other bird is hungry, you throw some corn, you might get him in a trap, now he's yours. Oh yeah, there's a hoopla like a big net. Some guys are good at that. Whoop! <laughs> and they catch the bird. And now they come on Sundays and talk about it. I caught X amount on this person. If they like the bird a lot, they probably may keep the bird and train it, retrain it or breed the bird or sell it to the pet shop if they don't like it, so they can make a couple dollars too. A pigeon's only yours while it's on your roof. Once it's in the air, it's nobody's bird. Anybody could catch it. Either the hawk will catch it, your neighbor will catch it, the guy down the block might get it. New York is a flying town, and the competition is here. <laughs> and at times, pigeon flying is more than just a competition. It's a beautiful thing. Like for me, I was a troubled kid, and with these birds, most of my day is spent on the roof, so I'm not in the streets no more committing crimes, getting in trouble. In fact, I could say these birds saved my life because if it wasn't for them birds, who knows, I could be in prison for the rest of my life because of the stuff I was into. Now, these birds get my full attention, so I'm not in the streets no more. I'm passionate about it. I've always been a romantic person. I'm just a normal guy. I mean, I like girls, but I like to fly my pigeons. The pigeon flying tradition is often passed down through generations. The pigeons have always been in my family. With the house that I live, my kids are the fifth generation that live there. My mother told me she was born in 44, ever since she was there, that, that you know, the pigeons have always been there by my house. So I still got the pigeon coops that my grandfather had, the original ones. There's a bunch of good um, dudes out here in Bushwick that fly these birds. And they all got the passion for it because they've been doing it since they was young boys too. That was passed on probably from their father or friend like me. I'm passing it on to my son. I'm teaching my son, my son John, how to fly these birds and all of that. And now he got the bug for it. Or he can't wait to get home from school after he do his homework and stuff like that to go up on the roof, fly the birds. And I hope he pass it on to my grandkids and his kids. Because I want this thing to go on forever if it cut. Because just like they kept me out the streets from getting in trouble, I see us doing the same thing for my son. Pigeons tend to unite people. People who don't look alike, we don't have to be clones of each other. But if you see, it brings people together, different people. I love that, because it represents peace. And that's the best part I think I like about it. The next time I see a flock of pigeons soaring through the Brooklyn skies, I'll be wondering about the person, the passion, and the story behind it all. I'm Lauren Muraski for Brooklyn Review. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.